story time. A short time after we got to the Palestine Meridian Hotel in Baghdad, the Iraqi police started kind of working with us, and we would pass people off to them when it was necessary and feasible. And one of these times, a guy had walked up to our perimeter, and mind you, we didn't have the same kind of perimeters that they did later in the war. This was very, very early on. And so our perimeter that we had set up around the area was nothing more than a few strands of concertina wire. And we had an entrance point, and one of these guys had walked up to one of our sergeants and just pulled out a thirty-eight revolver and shot him in the chest. And the, the bullet didn't do anything to him. It uh, just knocked him back a little bit, and then he just punched the guy in the face and just crumpled him. Well, when he did... Uh, we ended up arresting the guy, and it didn't it didn't do any damage. It just shattered his sappy plate, and we took the guy POW, and we ended up passing him off to the Iraqi police. Well, shortly after we passed him off to the Iraqi police, um, they took the guy. It was probably ten or fifteen officers. They took him and hauled him off behind some bushes, and I was. Like, okay, well, whatever. They took him toward the, the Diala River. And I thought it was weird, but I didn't really think too much of it at the time. Until I heard a bunch of screaming from behind the bushes. And I was like, what the hell is going on over there? And so I brought it up to the lieutenant. I was like, hey, I, th I think they're torturing that guy over there. And then the Iraqi police started coming out one at a time. And I'll let you use their imagination as to what you think they might have been doing. But they were all buckling up their pants and stuff. And I'm like, something nefarious was obviously going on behind the bushes over there. But, you know, who am I to say for sure? And a major cut in. And he's like, hey, that's not our problem. I'm like, roger that, sir. And so I ignored it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that that guy got way more than what was coming to him behind those bushes. But yeah, the Americans were the savage ones. Come on, bro.